Hey guys, we're back. Okay, happy new year. My gosh, this is the first, first YouTube video in the new year, so I'm excited to be back with you guys. All right, today we have an inner thigh, right? I always know we, we cry a little when we hear inner thigh, right? Inner thigh and transverse abdominal focused workout. Okay, hitting the whole body in 60 minutes because you can't really do a 60 minute workout and not hit the whole body, right? So we're gonna be tired, we're gonna get working. Everything's gonna, you know, you're gonna feel it everywhere a little bit, but a little more inner thigh and transverse abdominals than anything else. So I'm calling this one rapid, okay? Because I want you to think about those transverse abdominals and what they, internally, what they do for the body, right? They're kind of like that internal saran wrap for the core, okay? So nice, strong transverse abdominal wrap. Okay, we're gonna think about that as we twist and we spiral through some movement today. So that's gonna feel great in the body thinking about lots of length as we do that. All right, and today we need minimal props, which is extra great, right? So all you need is your reformer box, and that's really it. Okay, I have a squishy pad out on my platform just for comfort. We are gonna be planking, and the sides of your feet will be on the platform a couple times. So just for comfort, that squishy pad makes it a little more manageable. Um, if you don't feel you need it, you don't have to have it. Or if you have a reformer that has a padded platform already, then you're fine, okay? Your foot bar is in the first position, so the upright position. Now, I have an infinity foot bar. It is capable of going straight up and down. I don't have it straight up and down. I have it that one click forward. It falls directly over the platform for me, so that's kind of where you wanna look at it for you as well in your setup today. We have one extra light spring on. That's one yellow for me. That may be one white for you. Whatever brand of reformer you have, that extra light typically does not come with the reformer. It is something that you have to purchase and, and put on or add on to your reformer. So I highly recommend it if you like just P-Fit videos. It's pretty mandatory to have an extra light spring. We use it almost every time, <laughs> okay? Um, reformer box is set up short box style. So I have it in front of the shoulder blocks, horizontal, okay, across my carriage, that's short box style. I don't want you to put it over your shoulder blocks because we will be pushing against it a couple times today and I don't want it to slide on you. So that's a safety note right there. Your headrest is down and flat. We won't really need, be needing that at all. Your box is gonna stay on the reformer the entire class. We will switch it to long box, okay, at, towards the midpoint of class, but then we'll take it right back to short box. It's not leaving the top of your carriage, okay? Uh, we will be standing on the reformer today, so just a note if you're not comfortable standing, just so you know, we are gonna do it a couple times, um, and modification-wise, there won't really be much of a modification there. So just so you know, if you're not comfortable standing, this may not be the workout for you today, uh, but, but give it a try, take a look and see. You can always fast forward and see if that part is tricky, too tricky. Uh, and that's it. You're gonna need your short loops today, long loops optional. Okay, so I have both on mine always, but if you don't, you might wanna have both handy. And that's it. All right, let's get started. We're gonna, we're gonna get started with a plank. So now that's starting easy. <laughs> we're starting right away. Okay, so. You've got your box up there in front of the shoulder blocks. Your hands are gonna come to your foot bar. Make sure that foot bar is locked and in place so that it's not moving or wiggling on you. All right, hands on the foot bar. Your feet are up against that box. So my toes are turned under, my heels are up against the box, okay? And that's just giving me a nice lift through the back of the leg, okay? Now from here, I want you to roll those shoulders down your back, broaden your collarbone, your eyes are on the floor. Now, to protect your wrists, all 10 fingers are on the front side of that foot bar, okay? So try not to put your thumbs on the back side. Try to wrap all 10 fingers to the front, okay? So that's gonna help relieve the wrist and, and require less flexion there. All right, now from here, we're gonna start with a simple knee pull. So right now, my legs are hip width apart, okay? So you can be hip width or slightly wider. On your exhale, I want you to draw those knees in under the pelvis and bring that carriage in so it kisses the bumper. Inhale, take it all the way back out, okay? Exhale, bend those knees. Inhale, grow longer as you press the carriage out. Okay, so that inhale and exhale, they're important. All right, you're exhaling on the knee bend, you're inhaling 
on the leg extension, that's creating that internal length where the diaphragm drops. So we get longer inside, and hopefully that translates to the outside of the body as well. Inhale. Exhale, knee pull. Inhale. Now when you bend your knees, I want you to feel the broadening at the glute, the broadening of the sitting bones. They get further apart as we bend the knees under the hips. Good, you've got four more. Exhale, bend, still pushing the foot bar away, so we're creating nice space between our shoulder blades. Three, and extend. Last two, think about the crown of the head, reaching far away from that tailbone. Last knee pull, take it back out. Now we're gonna start with mini push-ups, okay? So on your exhale, I want you to let your elbows track wide. You're gonna bend them about three inches and press back up. Good, exhale, let the elbows bend wide. Think about the collarbone chasing those elbows. Good, you've got four more. Exhale, bend, inhale, press, last three. Bend, inhale, press away, create that space between the shoulder blades. Two, and press, last one, and press, guess what? <laughs> you know, you guessed it, full push-ups right here. Just four, exhale, bend. If your chest can come all the way down to the foot bar, fantastic. Inhale, press. If that full push-up isn't for you today, stay with that mini push-up. Okay, last two. Exhale, bend. Inhale, press. Last one, pull that belly button up and in. Think of that strong plank moving and come all the way in. Whew, okay. We're staying on the extra light spring all of class, so you don't have to worry about that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna kneel facing the right side. Our right, for, our right forearm is gonna come down on the box. Your feet are going to your platform, so we're gonna hit a side plank. So for this side plank today, your left foot is in front of your right. So you're in a staggered stance, okay? Top leg in front, bottom leg straight off the hip. Now, your top arm is your left arm. That's gonna come behind your head for airplane. And I want you to set up so that right elbow is underneath the shoulder. Okay, hold it right there, hold that side plank. We're gonna start with a little twisting. All right, first twisting of the day. We're gonna take that left elbow and we're gonna spiral the rib basket as we twist to look at the headrest. Exhale, come back through center. Good, inhale, think about growing longer as you rotate. Inhale, come back, two more. Twist, exhale through center, last one, inhale, rotate. Exhale through center, now right here. You're gonna take your left leg, okay? I'm gonna have a modification for this one. Left leg's gonna come to the top of the foot bar and you're gonna extend out, allowing weight on that top leg. All right, so your bottom leg can move. Your bottom leg is gonna tap the foot bar and release. Now, if that's too much, I want you to keep yourself in the plank. Top leg is gonna tap the foot bar and down. Okay, tap and down. If you can get that left foot on the foot bar and put your weight there, you're lifting and lowering the right leg. Okay, for four, lift and tap. Three and tap, two, Whew, last one, lower it down, bend that top leg to come in and come all the way in. Whew. It was hard to explain as we were there that whole time. Okay, but you got that modification, hopefully. We're gonna be standing, this is our first standing sequence. So I'm gonna kick my squishy pad off the uh, platform just for stability. You're gonna stand up so that your right foot is on the carriage and your left foot is on the platform. Now, right foot, is gonna come into a turned out position. So my right toes are lined up with my headrest, pointing directly towards my headrest, and my left toes are pointing directly forward. Okay, now from here, arms are gonna come into airplane again, right behind the head. I want you to think about interlacing the fingers and tractioning the skull up towards the ceiling. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with warrior one. So we're gonna rotate towards our right foot and bend into that right leg. Bend into that right leg, keeping the chest lifted. Allow that tilt to happen. 
Okay, think about that right kneecap, tracking with big toe, second toe, right sitting bone reaching back. All right, and from here, you're gonna stay in warrior one as you rotate into warrior two. So opening up the chest so that it's now facing the same direction as your left toes. And then we're gonna pull all the way back up, still tractioning the head. Okay, rotate to the right, face that headrest. Good, lunge into that right leg for warrior one. Eyes on the headrest, that's a nice uh, direct line to look at as you work. Open up to warrior two and come all the way in. Kiss the bumper with those inner thighs. Good, rotate to the right. Come into warrior one, hold. Rotating to the left. Now it is pretty aggressive with the hands behind the head. If you feel like you need to bring your arms down and just reach into warrior one, that is fine as well. And then you can open up to a T and come back in. Okay, I'm looking for lots of length on your waistline. That's why those hands are behind the head. Warrior one, hold, pause, pause in that warrior one. Rotate to the left. Come all the way into the bumper. Two more just like that. Rotate to the right. I feel like anytime we put warrior in a reformer workout, it takes up a lot of time. <laughs> it takes up a lot of time. So you have to kind of think about it when you write the repertoire, right? Inhale. Good. Slide into warrior one on that exhale. Keeping that knee tracking with big toe, second toe. Good. Rotating to the left and then coming all the way back up. Now, we're gonna start to hold. Okay, we're gonna rotate to the right. Come into warrior one. Those inner thighs are starting to tremble a little bit. Hold it. Okay, now from here, you're gonna take your right heel and you're gonna extend the back of the leg all the way out and bend at the knee. So you're leading with your right heel. Right heel kicks out towards the rear and then we pull it back in. Little hamstring extension. Good, and bend. Inhale, leg straight. Exhale, bend. Good, four more. Inhale, exhale, bend. Good, last three. And bend. Good, you've got two. We're gonna hold in warrior two next. Last hamstring extension. Stay in warrior one. Stay right here. That right knee is now bent. Rotate to the left. Hold. And now right here, you're going to do a little mini open close. Okay, but before you do that, I want you to extend that right heel one more time. So you have two straight legs. And now we're going to think about the inner thighs as we pull up one inch and open one inch. Pull up like suspenders and open. Good, think about those inner thighs like suspender straps. I want you to pull them up along the spine and then release them. Pull them up and then release them. It's just one inch in and out. Good, last four and release. Last three and release. Very intentional. Two, think about those inner thighs. Think about that pelvic floor. Last one and then seal it all the way up. Woo! and release the back of the head. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're coming back into a plank. We got some planks today. It's gonna be a forearm plank on your box, okay? So kneeling down in front of your box on the carriage, your forearms are gonna come down. Now you can have flat palms or ninja palms where your pinky finger is down and your thumbs are up, your choice, okay? I want you to find really nice alignment. Your toes are on the platform. Okay, from here, we're gonna get into that inner thigh even deeper on that right leg. You're gonna inhale as you pick up those knees off the carriage. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, slide that carriage all the way out and hold that forearm plank. Okay, we're gonna set it up just like we did on the foot bar before. I want you to think about your feet hip width apart. You're pressing up and out through those shoulder blades so you've got lots of space there. Okay, I don't want you to let the shoulder blades concave or find that little closing of the shoulder blades at the back body. I want you to lift and press away. Okay, now from here, your right knee is gonna come in to tap the box and take it back out. Good, now it may not reach the box. I want you to keep a flat back. I want you to keep your hips level. Tap and bring it back. You've got four more. 
tap, and bring it back. Last three, tap, and bring it back. You've got to tap, you know we're gonna hold, right? You know, you know that's what's coming, that's what's coming. On your next one, you're gonna take that right knee to the box and hold it. Let's turn our inner thigh up towards the ceiling so your right foot is gonna come over towards the left side of the frame. Bring it back to parallel and take the leg back. Three more like that. Knee in, twist the inner thigh up, take it back and extend. Two more, knee in. Twist your inner thigh up. Good, back and out. Last one, knee in, twist it up and hold it up this time. Okay, my inner thigh is facing the ceiling. I'm gonna lower my knee to the carriage to tap and lift. Lower and lift. My inner thigh is facing up, lift. Lower and lift for four, lower and lift for three, lower and lift, last two, lower and lift, one more, lower and lift, and now turn that leg back to parallel. Extend that leg over the foot bar and tap the foot bar and lift. Tap and lift, tap and lift for four, tap and lift, three and lift, two, Whew. last one, foot back to the platform, there it is, <laughs> and pull those knees all the way in. Whew. I am sweaty now. If you weren't sweaty already, now we are sweaty. Okay, we're gonna take it back out there one more time. Okay, we reset, but we're coming right back out there. So ninja palms or flat palms, your choice. Okay, here we go, same setup. Feet hip width or slightly wider. Inhale, pick up those knees using the core, right? Next inhale. Take it all the way out, hold. Okay, right here. We're gonna walk this plank, starting with our right hand. Right hand down on the box, lift left hand down. Right elbow down, left elbow. Left hand, right hand, left elbow, right elbow. Here we go, keep alternating. Right hand, left hand, right elbow, Left elbow, hold that beautiful structure. Left hand, right hand, left elbow, right elbow, two more. Right, left, right, left, last one. Left, right, left, right. Now we're gonna step up one time and stay up there. So right hand, left hand, hold. You're gonna like this part, your right knee is coming in on top of the box, right in between your hands, you're gonna find a pigeon stretch right here. So resting the outer line of that right leg down on the box, my right inner thigh is shining up, my left quad is facing down. Okay, and now from here, to get deeper, we're gonna allow the chest to fold over that right inner thigh. Whew, and give yourself that little stretch really quick. Hold it there for four. Rarely I stretch, right, in the middle of a class. Three, two, you deserve it right now. Whoo, last one. And come all the way up with your chest. Now, we're gonna stay on the box with this right leg. I want you to scoot forward so your right hip is completely on the box, okay? My left foot is gonna come to that top right corner of the carriage, okay? So my left leg is turned out. My right leg is in half lotus. Both of my sitting bones are on the box, okay? So we're gonna work nice and tall for a little postural upper body work, okay? So reach down and grab that strap that's closest uh, to your right knee, and you're gonna grab that short loop. That short loop is coming up around your right bicep, okay? So above your right elbow. Both hands are gonna come behind the head and we're gonna interlace those fingers thinking about the same traction that we talked about when we did warrior one and two. I want you to think about tractioning the skull up and out of the tailbone, okay? So finding that length, elbows nice and wide. All right, from here, we're gonna draw that belly button up and in. Again, considering that length, we're gonna find some side flexion. So on your inhale, 
we're going to side bend, lifting and tractioning the skull up and over to the left. That's an inhale. Exhale, back to center. Now we go to the right. Inhale, let that strap take you to the right, but still finding lift, right? Not dumping through the right waistline. You want to think about a lot of length there. Exhale, back to center. Good. Inhale, lifting up and over to the left. That's where you find resistance, right? Because of the strap. Exhale, back to center. Good. Notice how slow. Inhale to the right. We're going because I want you to find that length. Exhale, back to center. Two more each side. Inhale, up and over to the left, sitting tall out of that right sitting bone. Coming back through center. Inhale, up and over to the right. And back to center on your exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale, back through center. Last one to the right. Inhale. Exhale through center. Now stay tall. We're going to take that strap and slide it down to our right palm. So short loop, right palm. Now that right arm is going to come all the way out to the side. Left hand is going to continue to traction the skull. So left arm is staying in airplane. I want you to find those right fingertips and make them the same height as your right underarm. Okay, from here, we're going to focus on a single arm bicep curl. So on your exhale, you're going to curl through that right arm. Exhale, open it back up. So no momentum on this bicep curl, no whipping the strap. We're going to stay nice and tall through center. So as much postural work, right, as upper body work. And I want you to find a 90-90 bend on that elbow. We're not bringing the palm to the shoulder. We're going to find that nice 90-degree angle right at the inside of the elbow. Curl, pause when you find that curl, and open it back up. Good. Last four. Curl and open. Last three. Curl and open. And if you have a mirror, you can admire your bicep. <laughs> right? Last two. I'm like, oh, look, I have a bicep. <laughs> I can see it. Good. Last one. You're going to hold your bicep curl right here and give me a tiny little lift and lower right through your right elbow. So a little extra time under tension. I want you to find that engagement through the core so that you feel the core help pick up the elbow. Good. Right there. Nice and tight for four, for three. Don't hike those shoulders. Two. Last one. Now right here, you're going to take that arm all the way out to full extension and you're going to draw that elbow into the waist. Ah. Okay, keep tractioning that nice tall sit. We're going to take this elbow or this um, forearm and we're going to rotate it so that the arm is in parallel. My palm is right in front of the body, right? Right in front of the shoulder. Now I'm going to go into external rotation, opening up my forearm, keeping my elbow by my waist. Come back to parallel, slide it into external rotation. So we're working on that rotator cuff, okay? And you're thinking about that swivel happening at the top of the shoulder. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, slide it to parallel. Four more. Open. Exhale, back to parallel. Three. Inhale, open. Back to parallel. Good. Last two. Open. And slide it back. And your last one. Open. Good, and slide it back and come all the way out of that. Nice job. Okay, don't let go of that strap, though. That strap is coming around your right thigh. So we're going to switch the positions of our legs here a little bit. My right leg is going to be straight, and my left heel is going to be on my box. Now, I know that you're on top of the carriage, so we're going to watch how far back we sit on the box so that we don't topple backwards, okay? But right now, I want you to take the long loop, Oh, see? Yes, both loops, right? Long loop is coming around your right thigh. Right thigh. Okay, so up until this point, we had used the short loop, long loop now. Okay, now, my left heel is on the corner of that box, and my right leg is straight off my hip. I'm going to hold that leg nice and straight with a pointed toe. Now, we're not going to stay nice and tall in this 
position because I know that knee is very close to your chest. So I want you to take your hands and place them behind you on that box, okay? Your fingertips facing you, okay? Your elbows are gonna be soft and we're gonna allow for a little lean. Now, I don't want you to slouch and roll back. I want you to sit as tall as you can and then lean into the arms a bit so the elbows can bend. Thy right leg, I'm gonna hover off the box. This is hip flexor strength, okay? So right leg is straight off the hip, hovering off the box, okay? Right here, draw that belly button up and in, and we're gonna slide this right inner thigh open towards the rear. Exhale, pull it closed. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, pull it closed. Now what I want you to think about is your inner thigh. Right? The way, though, you're going to start to feel that shake is the longer we can reach that inner thigh out that right big toe, the more you're holding that leg nice and extended, right? So we're working on flexibility as much as we're targeting that inner thigh, right? Open, inhale, exhale, narrow the pelvic floor to pull it in. Inhale for four, exhale, narrow, pull it in for three. Whoo, it's shaky. It's shaky. Last two, open and close those inner thighs. They're tiny, they're tiny. Good, and pull it in and stay right there. Relax the leg. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you to slide forward just a little bit because we're gonna get both feet up now. So both heels are gonna come to the center of the box. Now we're not gonna stay like this. You're still propped up on your palms. I'm gonna ask you to roll into a shallow curl. All right, so sitting nice and tall, pressing away from your palms, go ahead and find that curl at the tailbone and that lumbar spine so you're able to pick your legs up off the box. Now, my knees are open, but the instep of my feet are together. My kneecaps track with big toe, second toe. So I'm not letting my knees do whatever they want, right? I'm holding them narrow so that they track with big toe, second toe. Now from here, we're gonna think about opening the collarbone, okay, pulling that belly button up and in, and we're gonna send our legs straight forward. So on your inhale, you're gonna press your heels away, find first position so you look like a little mermaid, and then you're gonna bend your knees back towards your hips, I'm sorry, back towards your chest. Inhale, extend, zip up those inner thighs. Exhale, bend, whoo, four more. Extend and bend, last three. Inhale, zip up those inner thighs and bend. You've got two more. I know you feel your right hip flexor, hang on. We're almost out of it. And bend, good. Last one, extend and hold it extended. And now you're gonna take those legs over and under, over and under. You're gonna feel the tension on that right strap. Okay, hold those legs strong. Inner thighs crisscross. You're in external rotation, right? For four, three, two, one. Right here, glue your heels together. Pull your knees in and set your heels down. Whoo, and come up out of that. Nice job. Okay, take off that strap. Okay, hang it up just for a second. Hang it up. Now, your right foot is going to be on the headrest left foot on the carriage, okay? We're gonna stand again, okay? But this time you have the box underneath you, so maybe a little less scary than when we were in Warrior One. all right? So standing all the way up, I want you to grab your short loop that you just had, right? You had your, that same strap. Grab the short loop this time into your right hand. Now, my right foot is on the headrest, my left foot's on the carriage, and they're both turned out. So it's a sincere turnout from the top of the hip, okay, because we're gonna plie right here. Now, I want you to think about pulling the belly button up and in. We're gonna make a fist around that, that short strap. So my right hand's on the inside, my left hand's on the outside, and I'm gonna clasp my hands just like that. Roll my shoulders down my back, think about staying nice and tall, and we're gonna start with some plie. So right here, on your exhale, you're gonna bend both knees, you're gonna feel that right inner thigh quite a bit, Right, inhale, rise back up. So your carriage is gonna move very little, all right? You wanna make sure that when you stand all the way up, that the box is not blocking you from finding full extension of your leg, 
All right, I want you to make sure you open up the back of your knee all the way when you stand. Okay, now, we're not gonna lock out and squeeze the quads and the glutes, so we're gonna think about pulling the inner thighs up like suspender straps and getting long, right? That's where I want you to think. Good, exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Good, four more. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. You've got three more. Exhale, bend. You gotta take a, take a peek at what I planned. <laughs> Last two. Yes, okay, I remember. And press, good. Last one and hold this one right here. Okay, you're gonna hold this plie. So let's be ready for it. Take a look down, check your kneecaps. Make sure they are still tracking between your first toe and your second toe. Big toe and second toe. Okay, hold this here, roll the shoulders down your back. Remember in a plie, we are not tilting forward. That's a sumo squat. I want you to stay tall, okay? Ribs over pelvis. From here, we're gonna take these clasped hands and we're gonna inhale as we press them straight up and overhead. Exhale, bring them down to the chest. Stay in your plie. Inhale, press overhead. Exhale, bend. Now I want you to think about lifting out of your transverse abdominals, out of the waistline, both sides. Good. Inhale, press. Exhale, bend. You've got two more. Inhale, press. Exhale, bend. Good. Last one. Stay in that plie. You're not coming out of it. <laughs> Good. And bend. Now right here, you're going to send those palms straight forward. Okay, straight forward off the chest. Hold it right there. Roll your shoulders down your back. Broaden that collarbone. Stay tall. As you inhale, you're going to twist your torso towards the foot bar. Exhale, come back through center. Good. Inhale, twist. Exhale, center. Now remember, you're rotating waistline up. Try to keep your gaze right down the center of those palms, okay? That way you minimize the drive from the head, neck, and shoulders, and it comes more from the waistline and the rib basket. Four more. Twist and come back through center. Whoo! Last three. Inhale, twist. And back, you've got two more. Stay tall. Think about that rotation. Ha! Ah, good. Last one. Rotate to the left and come back through center. Now, right here, pull that fist or that clasp hand right back to chest center. You're going to peel your right heel up one time. Hold it there and give me a little pulse of your plie. One inch up and down. Tiny little lift and lower. So narrowing the inner thigh and pelvic floor to lift, broadening to lower. Good. Eight. Seven, six, you've got five, right heel is lifted. I know you probably can't see it. Good, you've got three, two, last one, heel down, and guess what? Come all the way down to your box. Whew. All right, we're going to take that strap and hang it up now. We're switching our box to long box. So step forward off your carriage and take that box and rotate it. Okay, again, in front of your shoulder blocks, if you can, if not for space reasons and it needs to be over the shoulder blocks, that's fine. I'm double checking my notes here. That's absolutely fine. We're not gonna push against the box, so if you wanna put it over, that's okay, okay? All right, here we go. We got some floor work first after you set that box up. So we're gonna take, I'm on the right side of my machine. Okay, so I'm looking from the rear to the front, I'm on the right. Take your strap, okay, and you're going to be placing it around your outside leg, so your right thigh, okay, long loop, right thigh, all right, so I know it's the leg furthest from the frame. We're going to find a plank on the floor, okay, so what I want you to do is line yourself up with your headrest. Ideally, that should be a good amount of tension. You're going to feel slack to start, but that's okay. And now we're going to bring our hands to the floor. Bring your hands to the floor, and you're going to walk both legs all the way back to a plank. Now, your strap is probably going to slip a little. Okay, so if you want your short loop, that's okay. All right, but I want you to just set up first. Okay, so set up that plank. Press yourself away from the floor. 
finding that distance between the shoulder blades. My feet are slightly wider than my hips. My belly button's pulled in. My right knee, the one with the strap, is going to pull in to tap my right elbow and take it all the way back. Right knee pulls in to tap, take it all the way back. So my right knee is heading towards my right elbow. I tap and then I take it back. Good. Tap and take it back. You've got four more. Tap and take it back. I wasn't kidding about the planking today, right? Three and take it back. Last two, but notice how we're focusing on one leg or one arm at a time. Good. All right. On your next one, you're going to hold that right knee in. Hold it in. Hold it in. Now you're going to take your right knee down to your wrist. Pull it up to your elbow. Down to your wrist. Pull it up to your elbow. Four more. Down and up. Three. Down and up. Last two. Down and up. One more. Down and up. Send the right leg back and come down to your knees. Woo! Take off that strap. We're coming back onto the carriage. All right, a little bit of floor work just to make it a little extra interesting. <laughs> You're going to sit on your box rear facing. Okay, so feet on the headrest, still on that extra light spring. We're not messing with any springs today. Okay, once you are seated on the box, your feet on the headrest, you're going to grab your short loops. All right, short loops in each hand. Now, we're going to roll back into tabletop, but before we go there, okay, I want you to find a good seat position because you're not going to have support for your head. So come all the way close to the front edge of that box so you're pretty close to your headrest. Your sitting bones are on and with a couple inches to spare. Okay, now from here, we're going to take those arms right off the chest, okay? Roll your shoulders down your back. We're going to slowly roll back. Okay, so you're going to start with a hinge. We're going to lean back, keeping the back nice and flat. Hold. Now I'm going to curl through my tailbone, curl through my low back, my mid back. My shoulder blades are going to tap down, but I'm going to keep my head up. My head stays lifted. Head, neck, and shoulders. Now, my right leg comes up into tabletop, and so does my left. And we're going to keep those knees separated right now. Now, my arms are extended, okay? And I'm going to start by bringing my elbows down to the box. All right, so we're going to get lined up here. Still in this ab curl, you're not going to release it. You're going to take your arms and palms facing you. You're going to press the arms all the way up over the chest and hold. Okay. Here we go. Now, turning my palms in, I'm going to start with an arm circle. So I'm going to bring my arms up and overhead. Keep your head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Take your arms out to the side. Palms are up at this point. And then my palms turn in to face my legs, and I bring them back up and over the chest. Arms up and overhead. Thumbs are leading the way. Open out to the side. Palms are up. Good. Thumbs are back to facing the ceiling, and we come all the way up and over the chest. Good. Two more in this direction. Thumbs lead the way overhead. Open up, keeping the ribs closed right in this ab curl, and then bringing the arms back over the chest. Last one in this direction. Overhead, biceps frame those ears, and then we take the arms around and back up and over the chest. Now we're going to go the other way. Okay, we're going to go down with the pinky finger leading the way. Good, circling out and around, palms up. Good, up and over the, ch over the head, and then back over the chest. Three more. Pinky finger leans the way. Arms out and around, finding that mobility at the top of the shoulder. Right back over the chest, two more. Pinky finger leads the way. Palms face up as you circle around. Good, back up and over the head, biceps frame the ears. Last one, pinky finger. Good, palms up. Back up and overhead. Good. And then find that space over your chest. Now, we're going to find support for the head, neck, and shoulders. So take that short loop and slide it above your, bi or above your elbow or so it's around your biceps. Hands come behind the head. Oh, right? So we're working when we don't have support for the head. We're working on those neck extensor muscles that lead into the mid-back as well. So that's important. So... Don't worry about, sometimes I know it's uncomfortable, but 
we try not to hold it too long. Interlace those fingers, keep that ab curl. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get a little deeper now. Now, from here, I'm gonna zip up my inner thighs. Okay, toes are pointed. I'm gonna extend my legs out and bend them back in. Good, inhale, extend, narrowing through the low belly, pelvic floor, inner thighs, and then we bend them back. Now, when I bend them back, my knees stop over my hips. Okay, not over my belly button, because then I'm taking away some of the work, and I don't want to do that, right? Maybe we do, you know, it would feel nice to do that, but we don't want to do that, because this doesn't last forever, right? Inhale, extend, and bend. You've got three more. Extend, and bend. Last two. Extend, and bend our hold move is going to be something we already did. Good. So right here, you're going to inhale, extend those legs, hold it, and now take your inner thighs over and under. But this time we're doing our little crisscross and we're in parallel. So my inner thighs are facing each other rather than the ceiling, right? So we're feeling a little more of a narrowing up through that psoas. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and right here, legs together, knees in, hug your knees into your chest, and slowly come on up, feet on the headrest, okay? All right, hang up those straps. Hang them up, hang them up. We're coming on to our tummy, okay? So prone. Little prone work, never hurt anybody, right? Try to get it in there as much as we can. We definitely don't do enough of it. Okay, so facing the rear, my chest is gonna be off the box, all right? So I want you to lay down nice and slow. And I'm gonna move my mic so you can still hear me. And make sure that the chest is just off the box so the top of the ribs are engaged on the box, okay? Now my legs are gonna be behind me. Inner thighs glued together, toes turned out. All right, so we've already got that fish tail or that mermaid tail going on through the lower half. Now, we're going to belly button, we're going to pull that belly button up and in so we feel an engagement through the core, and you're going to feel a tightening of the glutes. Okay, that's great. That's great. Now, my legs are nice and strong, no sloppy bend to the knee. You're going to choke up on your straps. So metal carabiners or even higher, okay, because we're going to do a lat pull. Now, we're on an extra light spring. I know you could take more weight here, all right, but we're going to do other stuff, so that's why. Point your toes. All right, think of those nice, strong legs. Inner thighs are turned down towards the box. We're looking straight down in the well. Roll your shoulders down your back. Broaden your collarbone. Your hands are just outside your frame. We're going to do a little lat pull. So on your exhale, you're going to bend your elbows into your waist. Inhale, extend it back out. Good. Now, part of the effort here, or I would say more effort, is holding those legs zipped up and straight. Okay, that's what I want you to really focus on right here. Belly button pulled up and in. Inhale, extend. Good. Elbows to the waist. Inhale, extend, four more. Elbow, lat pull. Good, and extend. Last three, bend and extend. No extra back extension, right? I'm just holding that nice, long, straight body. Two, inhale, exhale, hold this one bent. And now you're gonna give me a little flutter kick of those inner thighs or those legs. All right, you're right here for six, five, Four, three, two, glue your inner thighs together, heels together, extend those arms. Two lat pulls. Bend, inhale, extend. Next one is a hold. Bend and hold. Let's go. Eight, little flutter kick. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more time, glue those heels together, extend those arms, wide V, right lat pull through the back, inhale, extend, exhale, hold this next one, last time we do that little flutter kick, here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and extend those arms all the way out. Whew, and take those straps and hang them up. Okay, here we go. Lifting ourselves off the box. We're going to step off to the right. So you're on the other side of your reformer for that plank knee pull. Yes. Okay, so remember, it's your outside leg. We're going to turn and face forward, face the front of the machine. You're going to take your long strap or short strap, depending on what you used before. It does slide a little on the leg. So if the long strap slips too much, you can always take the short one, right? It just creates more resistance. Take it around your outside leg. So it's coming around my left leg, my left leg, right legs on the inside, okay? Standing somewhere around your headrest or the top of the box, we're going to find that plank on the floor. So I know you can't see me over here, but we did it over there. It's the same thing. Hands come down, okay? And you're going to walk those legs back so that you are hip width or slightly wider, okay? Now, from here, set up that plank. I want you to press the ground away, thinking about space between your shoulder blades. Belly button's pulled up and in, and we're holding right here. Nice, strong plank. Eyes are on the floor. My left knee is going to pull in towards my left elbow and extend all the way back. Good. Left knee pull in. Tap if you can reach it and take it back out. Good. Knee in and out. Nice and slow and controlled. Knee in and out. Four more. Knee in and out. Mine's slipping a little bit on this side. There we go. Last three. In and out. You've got two more. Pull it in and take it out. Don't let that structure change. Knee pull in. Whoo! And out. Now we're going to do that little slide up and down. So here we go. That left knee pulls in towards your left elbow. Hold it there. And now take your knee down to your wrist and up to your elbow. Down to your wrist and up to your elbow. Four more. Down and up. Three. Down and lift. Pull with that core. Two. Pull up in that belly button. Last one. Down and up. Take that leg all the way back and bring your right knee down to the floor. Whew. Okay. Let's take off that strap. Let's hang it up. We're going back to a short box. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. Take that back, back to a short box style. Remember, in front of your shoulder blocks, please. Okay. Just for safety today. Okay. Now, once you are there... We're on that plie already. So my back is going to be to you guys. Make sure that headrest is still down. You're going to straddle your box, left foot on the headrest, right foot on the carriage, okay? You're going to reach down and grab your short strap, okay? Now, you know the long strap is always an option. If at any point you use something different on the other side, do what you did on the other side, okay? It's important we stay symmetrical. Okay, or as best we can. All right, so my left hand's gonna be in that short loop. My right hand is gonna come on the outside and I'm gonna clasp my hands. Now, both legs are in a turnout, making sure that I'm wide enough, okay, that the box doesn't hinder my leg extension. All right, so staying nice and tall, bring those fit, that fist right to chest center, broaden your collarbone, shoulders down, think tall. We're gonna stay tall as we bend both knees for that plie, inhale, press it up. Now, a lot of times, at least in my body, I grip with my toes, right? So I hold too much tension through the foot and through the lower part of the leg. Relax your toes. Relax your toes. Everybody t tends to take tension in different places. Um, so if you notice that there's a place where you always hold tension, maybe it's up in the shoulders, right? That's another place I tend to hold it. Try to consciously and intentionally relax that. Good. Down. Keeping the chest, sternum over pubic bone, right? We don't tilt. That's something different. It's not wrong. It's just not our focus today, right? If we were to take this more into a sumo squat where we would tilt the chest, it would be more about the glute. You're still getting the glute, but we're targeting a little more inner thigh here, right? Bend. No movement is wrong movement. It's just what we're looking for, right, in that day or in that, in that class pattern, right? Bend. Inhale, press. 
Four more. I always tell people, as long as you're moving your body, you're doing it right. That's it. Inhale, press. Right? We don't want to get hurt. There's those kind of safety notes. Inhale, lift. Good. Last one like this, since I definitely talked too much and lost count. On your next one, you're going to hold your plie. Okay. Check those kneecaps. Are they tracking with first toe, second toe? Is your chest still tall? Opening comes from the inner thighs. That's where the depth comes from. Okay, from here, we're going to take those palms, and we're going to press them straight up and overhead. Try to keep the palms lined up with the midline, right? Inhale, lengthen out of the waistline. Exhale, bring it back down. Good, four more. Inhale, press. Feel that left waistline work harder than the right because of that strap, right? Three. Exhale, bend. Good. Two more. Inhale, press and bend. Last one. Press it up and overhead. Good. Take that the fist right back to chest center. Now hold it here. Don't come out of your plie. I know it's tempting. Press that fist right off the chest, straight forward. Now, keeping your eyes locked on that midline, right, on the fist, on the thumbs. You're going to inhale as you rotate from the waistline and the rib basket to the right and come back through center. Good. We're also thinking about nice, long, strong wrists as well, right? Sometimes we tend to bend or overly flex the wrist. Let's try to keep it strong all the way through the forearm. Exhale back to center. Good. Inhale. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. And center. Four more. Inhale. Rotate. Exhale. Center. Last three. Inhale. That's going to give you that length. Right? Last two. Exhale through center. Last one. Rotate. And center. Now hold it right here. Let's bring that fist into the chest. Hold. Let's pick up our left heel. So make sure the ball, I'm going to reconnect the left ball of my foot. Make sure the ball of your left foot is connected to the headrest, okay? Left heel is up. We recruited that left inner thigh a little bit more with lifting that heel. From here, we're going to pulse this plie. Whoo! Right here, keeping that chest lifted and tall. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, think about those inner thighs, the narrowing into the pelvic floor. Three, two, and put that heel down and go ahead and take a seat. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, hang up the strap. No, don't hang up the strap. And we're going to do that propped leg. Okay, so take your long loop. It's coming around your left thigh. Left thigh. Okay, once you're there, your right heel, make sure you're not all the way at the back edge. You're seated a little more towards the middle. Your right heel is going to come to the right, top right corner of that box. Okay, now, my left leg, I'm going to straighten all the way out, right off my hip. Point the toe. It's a strong leg. Now, my hands, make sure you're not seated all the way at the back edge because you want a place for your hands. Your hands, fingertips facing you, you're going to place them right behind you on your box. Now, sitting as tall as you can, that's where I want you to start, you're going to then lean back. So leaning back with a flat back. Okay, hold that. Now, trying to keep that long flat back, no curving of the lumbar spine yet. You're going to lift that long, strong leg so it is hovering off the box. Okay, now we are set up to go. On your inhale, you're going to open up that left inner thigh. Exhale, close it. Good. Open up your left inner thigh. Keep that ankle the same height as your hip and pull it back. Good. Inhale, open. Whoo, shaky, shaky. Now think about that length. That inner thigh reaches out that big toe, right? The longer and stronger you can hold this leg, the more you're going to feel all that connective tissue start to fire which is causing that shake, right? Last four. Inhale. Exhale. Narrow the pelvic floor in that low belly. Inhale. Take it all the way up to the core and pull it back. You've got two more. Inhale. Open and pull it back. Woo! Last one. Open and pull it back. 
And now right here, you're going to put that left heel on the box. Ha! Ah, nice relief for a second. Just for a second, though. Scoot forward just a little bit. Okay, both heels and uh, instep of the feet are together. Now we're going to find that roll so we can lift our legs. So make sure you're seated a little more towards the middle of the box now. Pushing off of your hands so you're nice and tall, I want you to go ahead and then start the rounding from your tailbone. So scooping the tailbone, the low back, and as we approach the mid back, we pick up those legs, okay? So you're in tabletop, but in a diamond. My big toe and my heels are together, my knees are open, but my kneecaps track with big toe, second toe. Pull your thigh close to your chest, okay? Here we go. We're going to lengthen and zip up these legs. So on my inhale, I'm going to press my heels away, zip up my inner thighs. I make a fishtail, and then I bring it back to that diamond. Inhale, extend, and bend. Whoo! Press, zip it up strong. Think about the psoas leading into the low belly pelvic floor, all the way into those inner thighs, right? That strength right there. Good, and press every time, bringing my thighs close to my chest. You've got four. Press, you're light on your hands, so you can actually pick them up if you needed to, right? And press, but why would we do that? That's crazy. <laughs> Last three, press, good, bend, and press. Last one, you know what we're going to do with this one, right? Here we go. Inhale, press, and hold. Inner thighs are shining up. You have a fishtail over and under, over and under for eight, Whew. seven, six, five. Hold that external rotation. Four, three. Oh, that left inner thigh. Two, last one. Bring your heels back together, pull them in, and come all the way up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, take off that strap. Okay, hang it up. Hang it up. All right, we're going to do that single arm work. Okay, so your right heel is going to come to the top left corner of the carriage, and your left leg is going to be in half lotus on the box. All right, so set yourself up so both sitting bones are on the box. You're going to grab your short loop, and that short loop starts around your left bicep. All right, so above the elbow. We're going to find that traction and lift through the back body again. So interlace those fingers, elbows wide, and you want to think about growing taller, okay? Tractioning means pulling, right? Pulling with those hands so that you're lengthening out of the spine, okay? Instead of pushing forward, I don't want you to do that. I want you to think about pulling up. All right, from here, sitting nice and tall, we're going to inhale as we find side flexion to the right. Inhale. Growing taller as we flex to the right. Exhale, back through center. Inhale to the left, letting that strap guide us towards the rear. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, up and over to the right. Exhale, through center. Inhale, up and over to the left. Okay, all focused on length on that waistline. Good, inhale. And it's really nice, you know, obviously I have a studio set up here. It's really nice if you have mirrors surrounding you, okay? Because you can take a look at your form, especially when I'm not there with you, right? You're doing these things virtually. Most likely you have a reformer inside your home. Take a look at your form every now and again. Good. Inhale, up and over. We got one more on each side. And back, inhale, up and over to the right. Exhale, back through center, up and over to the left, and back through center. Now stay right here. All right, you guys, now you're going to take that strap, and we're going to slide it down to that left palm. Okay, right hand's going to stay behind your head like airplane. So remember, we're still sitting nice and tall, sternum over pubic bone. Left fingertips are at the same height as your underarm. On your exhale, you're going to curl into that bicep curl, finding that 90-degree angle at the bicep or at the elbow, right? Inhale, open. Exhale, bend. Good. Inhale, all right? Feeling both, both waistlines working hard, right? The right one to stabilize, the left one helping pull up that strap. Good. Exhale, curl. 
Inhale, open to full extension, full extension at elbow. We want to find full range of motion of those joints. Good. And open. You've got four more. Exhale, bend. Admire your bicep. Right? When do we get to flex and look at ourselves? <laughs> Never. So when you do, enjoy it. Look at, look, at, look at what all that hard work does. Right? It better work, right? We're shaking and sweating like crazy. It better work. Inhale, open. Good. Exhale, bend. Good. Getting stronger, right? Together. Together. Is what it's, it's easier together. Exhale, bend. You're going to hold this one. Okay. In your 90-degree bend, you've got that bicep curl. From your elbow, but ultimately from your left waistline, I want you to pulse one inch up and down. Up and down. For six. Whew. Five, four, still tractioning with that right palm. Three, two, last one. Hold it here. Open up that elbow. Now you're going to pull that left elbow into your waist. Oh, it feels good for a second, right? So now we're in external rotation. I want you to take, your palm is up, take that forearm, and you're going to slide it back to parallel right off the front of the shoulder. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull to parallel. Inhale, rotate to external rotation. So you're rotating now from the top of that right, uh, that left shoulder. Open. Good. Keeping your elbow close to your waist. Inhale, open. You've got four more sitting nice and tall. Inhale, open. Good. Last three. Rotate forward. Open. Last two. Working on that rotator cuff. You should feel it down and through that lat, that left side. Good. You've got one more. Inhale, open. Keep those fingers nice and long. Pull it back to parallel and release the back of your head. Whew. Okay. We're coming into commandos again or that walking plank. So let's hang up that strap. Okay. Our toes are going to be on the platform for this one. Now remember, you get a nice stretch at the end of this one. So... Hang on, wait for it. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Okay, your hands, palms down or pinky finger connected. Okay, we're reversing our movement through. So this time our left leg's going to work. Um, I'm sorry, not left leg yet. It will be, but we're going to stretch with the left leg. Okay, toes are on the platform behind you. Your hip width apart. On your inhale, I want you to draw those inner thighs up so your knees lift. Exhale. Inhale, take that carriage all the way out and hold your beautiful plank. Now, feet are hip width or slightly wider, okay? The wider you go, the more stability you're going to find, and I want you to be stable. So find what's necessary for you. If you want to narrow your stance to challenge yourself, you can do that. Okay, right here, we're going to start with that left hand. Left hand, palm down, right hand. Left elbow, right elbow. Good, here we go. Right hand, spread those fingers out nice and wide. Right elbow, left elbow. Here we go. Left hand, right hand, left elbow, right elbow. Right hand, left hand, right elbow, left elbow. One more each side. Left and up, down on the left, down on the right. Here we go. Up on the right, up on the left, down on the right, down on the left. Now, one time we're going to step up on the left, step up on the right and hold it there. And now that left knee is going to pull forward onto the box right between those thumbs. And you're going to find pigeon. Okay, so left inner thigh shines up, right quad faces down towards the springs, right? To get a little deeper in this stretch, you're going to bow that chest forward over that left inner thigh to feel the stretch through the left glute. This one's probably going to feel a little bit more more relieving, <laughs> right? Or more, we're going to feel more of a stretch because we worked hard at this point, right? Not so much, but when we did it before, we just kind of started, right? Three, two, good. Lifting all the way up for, from, with that chest, and you're going to come all the way back into a plank. So to start, though, I want you to bring both knees down in front of the box because we reset before, we're going to reset again. Okay, now this time, our left leg is going to be our working leg, and we're going to turn that inner thigh up and down. And I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. So let's set those forearms up, okay? N flat palms or ninja palms. Knees, slightly wider than your hips or just at hips width. Inhale, take those inner thighs up. 
Inhale all the way out and hold. Okay, pressing up or protracting through those shoulder blades, all right, so you get that space. Find that space through the mid-back. On your exhale, you're gonna draw that left knee to the box and send it back to the platform. Left knee in to tap the box, back to the platform. Four more. Tap and extend. Three, and extend. Last two, and extend. On your next one, you're gonna hold the knee in. Turn that left inner thigh up so the right foot is towards the right side of the box, and then take it back to parallel and slide it back. Good, knee in, rotate up, back to parallel, and back. Good, here we go. Two more, and then we're gonna slide. Parallel and back, last one, knee in, rotate up, parallel, and back. Now on this one, you're gonna take that knee in, rotate up and stay there, and now slide that knee down the box and up the box. Down the box and up the box. Six, lift, five, lift, four, whoo, three, two, Last one. Now take that knee back to parallel, kick it over the foot bar, and bring it all the way down for the platform and back in. Whoo! Okay, and guess what? I just realized we didn't tap the foot bar. I knew I was forgetting something. We gotta take it back out one more time. Let's take that forearm plank all the way out. Whoo, all the way out. Okay, take that left leg over the foot bar, and we tap and lift. Tap and lift for six, five, four, three, two, last one. And take those toes back to the platform and pull it all the way in. Okay, I think we're done with planking. Are we? Almost, <laughs> almost. Okay, let's do warrior. Okay, this time your left foot is coming to the carriage. So I am turning away from you. Right foot on the platform, left foot on the carriage, but your left foot is turned out. Okay, left leg is turned out. So my left toes face the headrest, my right toes shine straight forward. Let's take those hands up and behind the head. Let's find that traction and that lift again. Now, the closer your left heel is to the springs, the more challenging it's gonna be, okay? So I don't want your toes up against the box. Try to keep your heel close to the carriage edge. Okay, nice and tall. Think about growing through the spine. On your inhale, you're gonna rotate to the left, face the rear, and then let's slide into that left knee, bending into that lunge. Warrior one, right knee tracks with big toe, second toe. Stay in your warrior one. As you rotate to the right, warrior two, and slide all the way in against the bumper. Here we go. Inhale, rotate to the left. Exhale, slide into warrior one. Hold. Rotate to the right. Draw it all the way in against the bumper. Squeeze those inner thighs, right? Rotate to the left. I want you to think all about those inner thighs here and narrowing up through the midline. Good, rotate to the right and draw it all the way up in, squeezing the carriage to the bumper. Rotate to the left. Slide into warrior one. Rotate to the right. Good, pull it all the way up and in, two more. Rotate, slide into warrior one. Hold. Warrior two, draw it up and in, Whew. last full one. Rotate to the left, slide into warrior one. Rotate to warrior two, draw it all the way up and in and now we have those holds. Okay, here we go, looking towards the rear. Slide into warrior one and hold this one right here. Okay, now you're gonna take your left heel and leading with the heel, you're gonna open that carriage, bend back into that knee bend. Inhale, hamstring kick, exhale, bend. Good, you're gonna feel that right inner thigh a whole ton, that one back there on the platform. Whoo, inhale, 
exhale. Inhale's gonna give you that length through that left inner thigh. And pull it back, four more. Extend and bend, last three. Extend and bend, two more. Extend, bend it back, last one. Extend and bend, hold warrior one. Rotate to the right, warrior two. Hold it here. Okay, now from here, you're gonna extend that left leg all the way out, two straight legs, and now you're gonna scissor those inner thighs up one inch and out one inch. And I want you to think about suspenders, pulling them up along the spine, pull them up to slide in, release them to go out. Slide up, good, slide up, pull up, <laughs> slide out. Good, one inch up and down, make it very tight and controlled, very intentional, tractioning that spine. Good, for four, release, for three, release, for two, oh boy, last one, and pull it all the way into the bumper, oh, and turn that left foot in, oh my goodness. Okay, last forearm plank on your left forearm. Okay, so come down to your carriage. Remember this one from the beginning, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna take that left elbow to the box, all right? Now, this is where you want your squishy pad. So I kicked mine off a long time ago. I'm gonna bring it back right now. Okay. Now, in this one, you're in a staggered stance. So your top leg is gonna be your right leg and that is in front of your left. So left elbow down, palm flat or ninja palm. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take ourselves all the way out to that side plank. Instep of my right foot is in front of my left foot. Okay. Right hand behind the head for airplane. Let's start with that elbow twist. Inhale as you rotate through the waistline, taking that right elbow to face down, right? And looking at the headrest and then open it back up on your exhale. Inhale, exhale, open, whoo. Inhale, exhale, open. Give me three more right here. Inhale, sting, lift it out of that left shoulder. Last two and open, last one, and open. Now, you're gonna stay right here if you wanna just take that right leg to tap the foot bar, or we're gonna take that right leg up to the foot bar, extend out, so now your left leg is suspended. Left leg lift and tap, and release. Tap, and release, stay open through the chest. Good, we got four. Lift, and lower, three, Lower, two, last one, Whew. bring it all the way and bend that right knee and come all the way down onto your knees on that carriage. You gotta get out of that one slowly, right? <laughs> all right, last and final thing. Guess what, no springs on this one. Okay, keep your squishy pad, you're gonna need it. We're gonna do this one-sided because it's gonna be equal movement through those inner thighs. So your right knee on the carriage, your left knee on the platform. Once you're there, no springs. Take off your extra light spring. Okay, now, safety, caution, note, that carriage is like a slip and slide now. You need to be careful, okay? It's gonna open real easily and close real easily, but I want you to control it with your core. All right, here we go. All right, so, arms, back in airplane. So I want you to hold the carriage right now closed. All inner thighs, pull them up and in like suspenders. Hands are gonna come behind the head to help those suspenders get a little taller. Okay, from here, we're gonna squeeze the carriage into the bumper. Okay, on your inhale, you're gonna open those inner thighs, only as far as you can, staying lifted through the chest. Exhale, pull it back up, squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it up and in, and really bring that carriage into the bumper. Okay, open, and pull it up, and it's like a little finisher for those inner thighs. So if they weren't shaking already, it's my goal to make them shake right now. You've got four more. Squeeze up and in, right? Inner thigh suspenders, pelvic floor narrows. Open, traction nice and tall, looking straight forward. Three. Good, and open. Last two, pull it up and in. 
Good, and open is amazing what these muscles can do. I like to think, when you're in moves like this, you can really think about it and really feel them. Good, on your next one, you're gonna hold it open. Hold it open, and now here, we're gonna go in one inch and out one inch. In one inch and out one inch. And I want you to feel both inner thighs pull equally, right? And it's small and intentional. Very controlled, eight and open, seven and open, six and open, five, Whew. four, good. You got three, hang on, two, last one. Now bring that carriage in halfway, just halfway, and you're gonna reach back with your glutes Okay, torso tilts sincerely, right? And then we inhale as we pull back up. Keep that carriage from moving. Exhale, sit back. You are halfway open, but we're not going to let the carriage slide in and out and do what we want. We're going to control it right where it's at. Reach those sitting bones back. Feel them broaden over your heels. And then lift up and in through that belly button. Good. Four more. Reach it back. Narrow and lift. Last three. Reach back with those glutes and lift. Last two, reach it back and lift. Last one, reach it back and lift. And now squeeze that carriage in against the bumper and I want you to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze those inner thighs. Think about pulling them up along the spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and relax. Hook that extra light spring right back on there. And we're going to stretch now. I have a very short stretch sequence because I know that was long, right? They always are. <laughs> You're going to turn and face your box. Turn and face your box, guys. Re take your knees as wide as the carriage, okay? And then you're just gonna sit your hips back towards the platform and drape those arms over the box, just sitting into an elevated child's pose. Hold it right there. I want you to focus a little bit more on the stretch through the inner thigh than anything else. Four, whoo, last three. Good, you've got two. We're gonna take it into that pigeon stretch again, so kind of like we did before when we came out of that plank. Okay, so, but you're gonna keep your left knee on the box right now. Right knee is gonna come on top of the box, which is gonna pick you up off the carriage. So I want you to put weight into your right shin, and then go ahead and turn that right inner thigh up, and let the left leg relax back there. So notice my left knee is bent. My quad and my toes are still facing down. I'm letting the top of my foot rest on that platform. And I'm just going to lead with my chest and fold over that right inner thigh. Whew, for four. Last three. Good. Two. Good. Coming all the way back up. Before we take the other side, we're going to slide off the box. My left knee is going to stay on the carriage, and I'm going to turn to my right. My right foot is going to come on the platform. Okay, so keeping my right heel connected to the platform, your toes can turn up if you'd like. I'm going to extend that right leg. My left thigh is against the box or the side, side of the leg, and I'm going to open up and sit back into my hips, getting a stretch through that right inner thigh and laying, or opening up the left glute as well. Good, hold it there. My right toes are shining up. Hold it there for four, for three, for two. You can turn those toes on the right foot to face forward and sit back a little deeper if that feels good in your body. Good, and then come on up and we're gonna go to the other side. So bring that carriage all the way in, rotate back to face the box. My left knee is gonna come up. I'm gonna put weight into my left shin so I can come up on top of the box. Rotate my left thigh to face up and I'm gonna let my right toes and my right leg la relax back there. Sitting nice and tall, I'm gonna hinge over my left thigh to feel a stretch on that left inner thigh, letting everything relax. Feeling the left hip open up as well, or the left glute for four, for three, 
for two. One side may feel very different than the other, right? We're not perfectly symmetrical. We work on it. We work to be symmetrical, but we're not. We're not. Let's face it. We're human. We're not perfect. Come on up. Both knees on the carriage. Turn to the left, right Outer line of the right leg is against the box. Left heel on the platform. Extend all the way out. My left toes are up. And once I've got that right knee under the hip, I'm sending my, my glutes back. My hands are going to reach for the frame. All right, sincere tilt of the chest. And I feel that stretch through that left inner thigh. Whew, hold it right there. Sit into it nice and deep for four, three, two, Good. If you want to turn those left toes forward, if that feels good, and so the, you kind of rotate so the sole of the left foot is a little more connected to the platform. Good. And then slowly pull yourself all the way in. Whew. Nice and carefully, we're going to step off of the carriage. We've got one final roll up. Okay. Feet are underneath your hips. We're going to hang down. Keep your knees soft. Fold over those legs, letting the head, neck, and shoulders relax. My knees are soft. My eyes are closed. And I'm just going to shake my head no and yes. Good. One more time. No and yes. Good. And once you feel nice and relaxed down there, I want you to start to round and stack the spine one vertebrae at a time just like building blocks. Your head is the last thing to pick up, but we're going to follow with those arms. Arms come up and overhead, palms to prayer position. I want you to pull those palms down right to your chest and be grateful that we are back at it again. I'm so happy to see you guys. Thank you for joining me again for this brand new workout 2023. I think this is the first YouTube workout for 2023. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Now, just a reminder, the core challenge is up there for you. So if you're on YouTube now, you're right where you need to be. Day one of the new year, new core challenge is there for you for free. So if you want a 14-day program, a two-day program, uh, two-day, two-week program curated specifically to strengthen your core, go ahead and check out day one. Okay, so you'll see it right there under Reformer Workouts. You do need a Reformer for this challenge, although I will have a matte one coming up shortly. But Reformer Challenge, two weeks, 20 minutes a day. Okay, they range in 15 to 20 minutes, but 20 minutes is your longest amount of time per day. All right, 14 days back to back. All right, so check out day one. If you enjoy it, there is a link there. It will take you directly to my on-demand platform where you can purchase the full program. The full program is $89, okay? So that's for 14 workouts. That's just over $6 a workout. So pretty good, pretty good if you think about it in the full, full duration. That's over four and a half hours of content. The most beautiful part about it is that once you purchase the program, it is yours to keep forever. So it's in your arsenal, and those days when you can't hit an hour or 90 minutes on the reformer with me, you have a short 20 minute core focused workout to hit. All right, you guys, if you have questions for me, you know where to reach me. Just be fit on all social media platforms. You can leave a comment below this video. I promise I will get back to you. I email everyone or I comment to everyone back who writes me. So don't be afraid to leave a comment. I love hearing from you, good or bad, right? And I will see you guys next time.